Hey guys, I hope you're doing really well. This is a follow-up video to the video that I made on the LED driver circuit of the 15-inch laptop screen. You may remember that we had three significant voltages coming into this chip, which was a 6903A uh, LED driver chip. The primary input voltage was 15.6 volts, and that came into this pin right here. Second of all, we had beside it an enable pin, which was 3.3 volts to turn it on. And the third pin beside it was the PWM, uh, which was 2.4 volts. Now, I commented in the last video that this pin controls the level of brightness. However, I didn't get into detail on it. So what I'm going to do in this video is quickly run through what this voltage is at 0% brightness, 25% brightness, 50%, 75%, and 100% brightness, just to see how this value changes. So that's what I'm going to do in this short video. As you can see on the left here, I've brought up the Windows dialog box that's used to change the brightness on the screen. It's also possible to do it on the keyboard itself using the hotkeys, but by using this dialog box, we can change it you know, to 0%, 25%, 50% with accuracy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by setting it to 0% and then we're going to measure what the value is on the PWM pin of the 6903A chip. To measure the voltage at the PWM pin, we've got our digital multimeter in volts DC and 20 volt range. And I'm finding a ground with my black probe, which is ground on this side of the capacitor here. I noticed from previous measurements that we had the high output of the voltages coming out here to the LEDs, and this is ground. So that's how I'm measuring. So starting with 0%, let's take some measurements. So starting with our brightness slid right to the bottom right here, which is 0%. I place my red probe to the PWM pin right here. And the values that we get for this are as follows. So at brightness 0%, I'm measuring 0 0.2 volts on the PWM pin of our chip. So next, we slide our brightness up to 25% and take the measurement once again at the PWM pin. And this time we find that the voltage has increased to 0.8 on that pin. That's for 25%. Okay, so I think we begin to see what the pattern is here of how the brightness, you know, when you change the setting, how that is reflected in the voltage that is detected on the PWM pin of our chip. So let's move that up to 50% and see what the value is then. We have now changed to 50% brightness and we're going to measure again. So the values that I get with 50% are now 1.35 volts on that pin right there. So you begin to see what's happening. As the brightness level goes up, the value that's sent to the PWM pin of our LED driver chip is increasing. So it's come up from 0 0.2 volts up to 1.3 volts as we've gone from 0% to 50% brightness. So I'm going to move it up to 75% now and we're going to take another measurement. With our brightness now at 75%, you could probably anticipate or predict yourself based on the other values as to what the value on the PWM pin might be now. But I'm going to take the value of it anyway with my multimeter. So at 75%, we have 1.9 volts on our PWM pin of our LED driver chip. So it's slowly working its way up. And the last one then is 100% brightness. With our brightness level now at 100%, we see the following values. So on our PWM pin, we now have 2.5 volt. So it's worked its way up the whole way from 0 0.2 volts at 0% brightness. And we now see 2.5 volts when we set the laptop to 100% brightness. I thought it might be useful to observe what happens all of these voltage values when the laptop goes into power save mode. So as we know with the laptop fully powered on and with brightness at 100% our VN pin is at 15.6 volts 
our enable pin is at 3.3 volts and our PWM which is currently brightness 100% is at 2.5 volts so I kept my probe at the PWM which also connects to this uh, little resistor right here so I kept measuring here as I let the laptop go asleep so after a few seconds without me touching the keyboard or mouse I noticed that the PWM voltage value changed and it changed from 2.5 volts to 1.35 volts. Any idea why that might have happened? Well if you think about it what happens is after a few seconds of not having used the keyboard or mouse Windows automatically dims the backlight so that's what was happening. So when I measured across the pins again I had 15.6 volts on the VIN, my enable pin still had 3.3 volts, but my PWM had 1.35 volts. So I continued to keep measuring, and after about a full minute, the backlight went off completely. And when that happened, my PWM pin went from 1.35 to 0 and I also checked my enable pin and my enable pin went from 3.3 to 0 however the VIN stayed at 15.6 volts so even with no backlight on at all and I could see that none of the LEDs were lighting in any way at all our 15.6 volt is always present at our VIN if the backlight is off the enable pin is set to 0 volts and with, again with the backlight off completely our PWM pin is zero volts also so that could be useful to use um, in the future when we have another one in that's faulty what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going once I have gathered all the information on you know this backlight circuit I'm gonna hopefully do one video that will take it from you know zero to hero or whatever you want to call it but that's where we are with it at the moment so it, it, it does seem to make sense you know if the enable pin is 0 volts then it's not enabled it's not switched on if it's at 3.3 .3 volts then it's getting the signal to switch on and then all you need to know is how bright do you want the LEDs and that's controlled by our PWM um, and our PWM pin is 0 0.2 volts for zero brightness the lowest level of the uh, LED brightness and then it's 2.4 volts if we have 100% brightness so that's just a little something for you I really wanted to put this together for myself if, uh, more so than anybody else just so that I know these values and I have them in the future um, but hopefully it's of use to somebody else too I'll be back with something else uh, pretty soon but keep on subscribing and please if you have any comments below good or bad just uh, fire them underneath this video thanks very much